Welcome back to Thalmcraft Quick. In this episode, I'll show you how to build Boots of the Traveler using Infusion Crafting. If you open your Thalmanomican to the Artifice tab, next to Infusion is Boots of the Traveler. Boots of the Traveler are a really cool Thalmcraft item. They let you move faster, you can jump higher, you can fall farther without taking damage, you walk through water faster, and you get step assist to walk right over blocks that are one block tall. So, to do infusion crafting, you need an infusion object, in this case leather boots, you need sacrificial objects, in this case a fish, a feather, two enchanted fabric, and two air shards, and some liquid essentia, 25 eider and 25 velatus. I've already put that into warded jars, which you'll need to have them in, and close to your infusion altar to be able to, for it to draw from the warded jars. I got the eider from fence gates, and I got the velatus from feathers. You'll also note I have some extra items on my hotbar, because infusion crafting has a small chance of destroying items you try to sacrifice, depending on the instability of the crafting process. Now this instability is negligible, so probably aren't going to have any problems with this one, but you always want to keep extra items just in case. If you lose items or lose V or Essentia while you're crafting, you get more bad effects. Infusion is not without cost. So, now we have everything set up. I've put the items on the altar, and you can see which order to put them in by reading your Thalmanomican. Fish, Feather, Enchanted Fabric, and the Air Shards. And I kind of take it as this block corresponds to two pedestals. So you can see I put the fish and the feather on these two, but I left this one blank, and I put the enchanted fabric on this one alone. That's going to help us keep things balanced. All right, so how do we start infusion crafting? Take a wand, doesn't need any V in it, just need to actually have a wand in your hand. Click on the runic matrix, and you start the infusion crafting. It's draining V, or essentia, from the jars over here, when it does that, it will break down the objects around the, around the altar and infuse them into the boots and create the boots of the Traveler. So, we're waiting for it to drain the rest of the eider, and once it's done that, it'll start breaking down objects. And you want to watch the items it breaks down to make sure it doesn't lose them. So there's an air shard, another one goes down. Chain of fabric being taken up now. and the feather, and finally the fish. Perfect, that's what we wanted to happen. Alright, so now I have Boots of the Traveler. So let's scan those real quick. Alright, so you don't get a V discount for this, so that's one thing different, but I can walk right over blocks that are just one high. I can jump a lot higher and fall a lot further. Well, farther actually and you can walk through water much quicker. So, Boots the Traveler are a very cool Thomcraft item. Probably one of my favorites from Thomcraft. Alright, that covers Boots of the Traveler and the basics of infusion crafting. See you next time.